In this video, you'll learn how to create this epic text blur animation. Start by creating a new video file. Click on Videos and then choose Create Blank. Let's set the stage by creating a nice backdrop. Go to Elements and search for Dark Grunge. I'll look in the photo section, but you can also look in the video section. Now find one you like. I'll choose this one. Scale it up to fit the page. Next, we need to add some text. Go to text in the left side panel and then click on add a heading. So for this example, I'll type the word memories. Make the text all caps by clicking the three dots and then choosing this icon here and I'll change the font to Anton. Now increase the size of the text. I'll make it 153. Right-click the text to copy it or press Ctrl-C on your keyboard. Create a new page by clicking the plus icon and changing the background to black. Paste the text on this new page by right-clicking and then selecting Paste, click on Position, and then select Middle. We need to download the text as a transparent PNG. Go to Share, and then click on Download. Select PNG from the drop-down list. Make sure to select only page 2. Now check the box that says Transparent Background. If you're using the free version of Canva, download the image and use the website in the description to remove the background. Drag and drop your PNG image back into Canva. Delete the second page because we don't need it anymore. Now select the first page and delete the text. Add your PNG image to the page. Scale it up and crop the excess areas. Next, we need to duplicate the page. So right-click on your page and select Duplicate Page. Or you can just press Ctrl-D on your keyboard. Hold Alt on your keyboard and click and drag your text to duplicate it and place it a little bit above the original. Let's bring the transparency down to 35%. Here's where you'll start to see the effect. Click on Edit Photo and then select Blur. Set the blur intensity to 35%. Now duplicate the blurred text by holding Alt, click and drag to place it a little bit above. Bring the transparency down to 25% for this one. Increase the blur intensity to about 50%. Select the middle text and bring the transparency down to 50%. Now set the blur intensity to 20%. Next, we need to create some duplicates to place below. Alt-click and drag the two texts above to place duplicates below. It's time to add some motion. Select the two above and go to Animate. Choose Drift. If you're using a free version of Canva, you can only make the drift animation go to the right side. But for Canva Pro, change the direction of the drift motion to go up by clicking the arrow pointing up. Now do the same thing for the two duplicates below. Select them, go to Animate, and choose Drift. These need to go in the opposite direction, so choose the arrow pointing down this time. Select the first page, and change the duration to 1.5 seconds. Bring the cursor between the two pages until you see this icon appear. Click it and add a match and move page transition. This will smooth out the effect. Let's see how it's looking so far. As you have noticed, they're drifting way too far apart, so we need to adjust that. Select the two upper duplicates and bring them a bit closer to the middle one. Do the same for the bottom duplicates. Bring them closer together. Now we also need to slow down the drift animation. So select the upper two duplicates, click on drift, scroll down and bring the intensity down by dragging the slider all the way to the left. Click on position and then layers. Find the two bottom duplicates by hovering over the different layers. You'll notice a purple box appear when you hover on that specific layer. Find the two bottom texts and drag them below the other layers. Select those two and click on drift. Bring down the intensity by dragging the slider all the way to the left. Now you should have something that looks like this. But wait, we're not done yet. 
If you want to give it a rotating motion like you saw at the beginning of this video, download your clip and import it back into Canva. Make sure it's an MP4 file and that both pages is selected. Let's create a new page by clicking the plus icon and drag and drop it to place it at the start of the video. I'll change the background to black, put the video on that first page and scale it up to fit the page. Now click the play button near the timeline to find the area right before the blur motion starts. Put your playhead right before where it starts and press S on your keyboard to split the clip. On the second page, select your clip and then click the icon to rotate it in a direction you prefer. Scale it up until it covers the whole page. Go to Animate and choose Breathe. Keep scaling it up until it covers the whole page. If you've made it this far and want to take this even further, go to Elements and search for Light Leak. Look in the Video section. Find one you like and add it to the page. Scale it up and bring the transparency down to 20%. Change the duration of your light leak by clicking on the scissors icon. Click and drag the purple bar to change the duration. Copy and paste the light leak onto the other pages. Congrats, your masterpiece is now an imprinted memory. If you want to see another epic tutorial, then you need to watch this next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be the first to see new content.